हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनरियल इंजिन ब्लू प्रिंट एसेंशियल्स वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस ब्लू प्रिंट डेटा टाइप्स इन अनरियल इंजिन एज नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेटिंग डेटा टाइप मींस टाइप ऑफ डेटा डेटा टाइप मींस टाइप ऑफ डेटा वेल क्रिएटिंग अ गेम वी नीड टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ प्लेयर स्कोर we need to store the world gravity we need to store the player name we need to keep track of whether game is over or not etc etc you can see here i am assigning 10 to player score 10 is a whole number an integer number so we can consider player score as an integer type of data a number without decimal point is considered as a integer number guys so we can say player score as an integer type of data here i am assigning minus 9.8 to gravity 9.8 it is a floating point number a number with decimal point is considered as a floating point number so we can say gravity as float type of data here i am assigning sequence of characters to player name generally in any language sequence of alpha numeric characters is considered as string type of data so we can say player name as string type of data guys here we are assigning true to is game over we know that true and false are boolean values so we can consider is game over as boolean type of data while developing a game we need to handle different types of data guys to handle different types of data unreal engine provides rich set of data types let's understand different types of blueprint data types available in unreal engine first we have boolean data type boolean data type indicates conditional result boolean data type has two values true and false that means if you create a variable of type boolean it can hold either true value or false value guys that's it anything related to boolean data type is displayed in maroon color for example a node of type boolean or a data pin of type boolean or a wire that we drag from a boolean pin it is displayed in maroon color guys next we have byte data type byte data type indicates one byte unsigned integer unsigned integer means only positive integer guys that means if you create a variable of type byte it can hold only positive integer values it cannot hold negative integer values here zero indicates the minimum value possible to store inside a byte type variable and 255 indicates the maximum value possible to store inside the byte type variable that means if you create a variable of type byte it cannot hold the value less than 0 and it cannot hold the value more than 255 anything related to byte type is displayed in sherpa blue color guys next we have integer data type integer data type indicates four bytes signed integer that means if you create a variable of type integer it can hold both positive as well as negative integer values integer values means whole numbers numbers without decimal point guys this number indicates the minimum value possible to store inside an integer type variable and this number indicates the maximum value possible to store inside an integer type variable guys and remember anything related to integer type is displayed in c green color next we have integer 64 integer 64 indicates 8 bytes signed integer that means if you create a variable of type integer 64 it can hold both positive as well as negative integers integer 64 allows us to store very long integer guys this number indicates the minimum integer value possible to store inside an integer 64 type variable and this number indicates 
the maximum value possible to store inside a variable of type integer 64. Byte is a one byte unsigned integer. Integer data type indicates four bytes signed integer. Integer 64 indicates eight bytes signed integer guys. Anything related to integer 64 is displayed in moss green color. Next we have float data type. Float indicates 8 bytes signed floating point number. That means if you create a variable of type float, it can hold both positive as well as negative floating point numbers. This value indicates the minimum value possible to store inside a float type variable and this indicates the maximum value possible to store inside a float type variable. Float type variable can hold numbers containing decimal point guys or floating point. Anything related to float data type is displayed in yellow green color. Next we have string data type. As I told that sequence of alphanumeric characters indicates string. So string indicates sequence of alphanumeric characters. If you create a variable of type string, it can hold sequence of alphanumeric characters guys. And anything related to string data type is displayed in magenta color. Next we have text data type. Text data type indicates text displayed to the user. That means if you want to display some text in the user interface, then you will be taking help of the text data type guys. And anything related to text data type is displayed in pink color. Next we have name data type. Name data type indicates name of an object. That means if you want to identify an object with name, then you will be creating a variable of type name guys. And anything related to name data type is displayed in mauve color. Next we have vector data type. Vector data type indicates set of three numbers. That's it. Vector data type indicates set of three numbers. You can take help of vector data type to create variables which can hold the location value of a character or scale value of a character or the color information etc etc. Anything related to vector data type is displayed in the gold color. Next we have rotator data type. Rotator data type indicates set of three numbers representing rotation of an object. That means if you want to store or manipulate the rotation of an object, you can create a variable of type rotator. And anything related to rotator type is displayed in corn flower blue color guys. Transform indicates location, rotation and scale. All three together we call it as a transform. Every game object is going to have the transform that is location, rotation and scale. If you want to store the transform information of an object or manipulate the transform information of an object, then you create a variable of type transform guys. And anything related to transform data type is displayed in orange color. Next we have structure data type. Structure data type indicates collection of heterogeneous data elements. It is, it allows us to create a variable which can hold collection of different types of data elements. If you want to create your own user defined data types, then you can create structures. So structure data type indicates collection of different types of data elements. Anything related to structure data type is displayed in Sherpa blue color guys. Next we have object data type. Object data type indicates reference to any blueprint object. That means if you want to store the reference to some blueprint object, then you can create a variable of type object. If you create a variable of type object, it can hold reference to any object which is created already in the scene or maybe you create dynamically at runtime guys. Anything related to object data type is displayed either in sign blue color or purple blue color guys. Next we have enumeration data type. Enumeration data type indicates collection of enumerated data elements. So list of data elements which you add to an enumerated enumeration type variable. Each data element is going to have a number guys. It is enumerated. Understanding? So anything related to enumeration data type is displayed in dark green color guys. 
so that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood what is the meaning of data type and uh, what are the different types of blueprint data types are available in unreal engine so in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss each of these data types in detail in depth step by step i suggest you people to watch this video again and again try to understand as much as possible if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial